Previously on the Long Dark, I decided to venture into Forlorn Muskig. I fell through the ice, accidentally found the second entrance to the Bleak Inlet. Decided to hang out at the Spence family homestead. I found the revolver. Got attacked by wolves. Found a bear. Shot some wolves with a bow. Finally, I killed the bear and harvested his pelt. Alright, so we are back with more Long Dark. The sun is going down. I should just hang out here for the night. I still got stuff. Well, I spent the night, but like... It's acting like a blizzard wants to blow in, so I'm very cautious about leaving. I was gonna go out and do some stuff today, but... Maybe not. Maybe not today. Other than the wind blowing ferociously and viciously, it is a nice day. I got a lot of visibility. Oh, well, I went out to get some firewood and then the wind stopped. That's a good sign. I wanted to go see where that other bear was because I really want to have the bear jacket. I really want to craft that this episode. And he was on that side of the map over there where I'm looking. I've also not really explored much on that side, so it'll be a good time to get out there and explore. Exploring's fun. Something that I found really cool is that uh, if you watch some of those shows like Survivor Man, he will tell you, you know, surviving will get really boring, and he encourages people to explore within a healthy distance. It's like, yeah, go out and explore, but not, like, too much. So yeah, exploring equals good in survival situations. Okay, I found the bear, unfortunately for him. I've got four bullets in my rifle, and I'm hoping that's going to be enough for me to take him down. Because there's not a lot of areas out here I can hide if he's going to charge me like he did in the first one. Alright, so he's running. He didn't decide to charge after me that time. Yeah, he went back that way, but I don't think I can walk across the ice there. I found the bear again. Uh, His home's just over there. Follow my footprints and you'll find it. I think I'm going to just wait a little bit longer, let him get a little bit closer, make sure I get a shot on him. Okay, I think I hit him that time. He is not a happy camper. And now he is a dead camper. Nice. That only took two shots if my first one didn't hit him. Those precious, precious bullet casings. I haven't even found the stuff. I haven't even found that stump maneuver or that sulfur, whatever it is. I don't know. Okay, we're taking this black bear hide. It's only gonna be 24 minutes. All right, and normally I would take the bear meat, but after my experience with parasites, I don't know if I want to anymore. Good news is that I'm a lot closer to my little special cave where I've been putting all my stuff at than I thought I was. And I was way overcomplicating things. I could have just walked down here and then just come around. It's, it's literally right over this hill. And the ice isn't as bad to traverse on this end. I mean, it really depends on how many wolves you have after you. You know, at this point, I do really wish I had the heavy hammer because I would love to be able to craft some stuff just so I could do it while I'm here, but I, I don't have, have one, unfortunately. I see a deer up there. I might try to hunt him. Now that my confidence with the crossbow is better, I'm just, I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, there's two deers here. Nice. Nice. Also, you cannot aim your bow while crouched. I just discovered that the hard way. Yes, deer, run away. Enjoy your newfound freedom. Also, I'm kind of walking around, and as I see these things, I'm harvesting them because, uh, again, my bout with parasites made me realize how stressful it can be to go out and try to harvest this stuff when you really need it. So I'm grabbing all the natural plants that I just stumbled across, all the mushrooms, all the beard lichen and the rose hips, just grabbing them as I go. Wow, that first pelt's not even cured yet. I guess it takes forever. Oh my god, I've had this fresh wolf pelt sitting in this toolbox for ages. Well, take that up to the cave tomorrow. I'm not doing it today. Oh, uh, I just found this. I just kind of walked around the corner here and there is a ton of dog food here. So, the Spence family homestead is actually a really nice place. There is quite a bit of food. Alright, so I did manage to kill a deer. It was every bit as horrible as it was the first time. Except he died a little bit quicker. I had a better shot on him. I think it was more in his side and not his ass. I'm gonna do something. My energy drink is actually about to expire. I'm gonna go ahead and just drink it. Yeah, I noticed it was at 5% a little bit ago when I was doing some inventory management, so... Go ahead and use it before it's fully expired. Oh, nice, nice. Um, 
I was given a tip in the, on the last video to throw your torch down and then pull out a rock and throw your rock. That worked beautifully. Thank you so much for that. See, I thought that when you have a flare that they wouldn't attack you, but it seems like I had an incident where I threw my flare down and he did attack me. All right, so let's try it again. Give me my rocks. Dude don't want to give up, does he? He must like having rocks thrown at him. The sun is up. It is a beautiful new day. I am gonna... Where did I put those at? I'm gonna take those uh, pelts, that wolf pelt and that deer pelt that I got. I'm gonna hike up on this hill here. And I'm gonna go put them to cure. That wolf pelt, I imagine, is probably going to ruin... Decisions, decisions, decisions. Run this way, dude. Kill that deer for me. Oh, he's running. Huh, okay. That works too, I guess. Kind of weird. Did the deer scare him? Or did he realize that perhaps my lack of giving a fuck intimidated him? I'm just like, no, no, screw this. We're gonna run. Oh, there's wolves up here at the top. Okay, we're gonna do this, I guess. Two of them. Lovely. Come on, let's try this. That one back there, he's not really sure what to think. Okay, that one, that one's scared. He's regretting his life choices. Got another pelt to throw on the pile. So even if that one wolf pelt does degrade and ruin, I have another one, I have a replacement. These bear pelts are, they're not done. This one's 82 and that one's only 16. I also want to notice that uh, I've had this wolf meat sitting in this cave for ages days like probably at least two weeks and it's only at 39 percent leaving your food outside significantly decreases the degra degradation time i was thinking that it would degrade slightly slower but that is significantly slower knowing that i might start putting my meat outside since it's a significant delay okay he came back he came back okay want to do this this time dude okay let's do it okay <laughs> Oh boy, that wolf's gonna do my job for me. Thank you, buddy. Come on, come on, you got this, you got this. Oh, sounds like you got him. I need to make this quick, go drop off all this crap, and then go kill a wolf for his meal. Yeah, they try to do it to me. I think it's only fair. How many arrows do I got? I still got two good arrows. I actually lost one. It's somewhere right here. I don't know where. I was trying to shoot the deer earlier, and it went over the hill, and I didn't see where it landed. It's, it's not far. I just gotta find it. Hey, buddy, you got something I want. Can I... Oh, he doesn't want to fight. Well, thank you. And he left most of the food. Maybe now he wants to come back now that I'm smelly. Yeah, there he is. He's coming. He's coming. Maybe. <sighs> Not only did I steal your meal, I also killed you. No, this is all my stuff. I earned it fair and square. <laughs> Well, maybe not. Maybe not him. Yeah, I'm essentially just hanging out here at the Spence homestead. I'm waiting for those deer pelts to cure. It's a it's a good long waiting game. I mean, it's 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 not exciting, but it's what I'm doing. I really would like to find that arrow that I lost. Like, I hope it wouldn't have went on the roof. Surely it wouldn't have done that, would it? Yeah, I cannot find where that arrow went. Which kind of sucks because the arrowheads are pretty valuable. To me, at least. All right, I'm gonna go take some more stuff to my cache cave. You know, I've not actually seen too many rabbits here in the muskeg. Maybe I'm just not in the right area for it. Oh, 12 days. Black bear hide, it says it right there. It's got a cure for 12 days. That's, that's a long time. It's all right, I'm just gonna do some resource gathering and some mapping, you know. Oh, hey, how long have these been over here? So I went on to the internet. I'm looking for the heavy hammer. I really, really need that. It'd be super nice right now. My my hatchet is at like 20%, 19%, and there's only like two places it could spawn here. It's there and over here at the bunkhouses. Now, I didn't really look good around the bunkhouses. I'm gonna go take a peek. Oh, oh my god! I'll never get that lucky again. I found the heavy hammer. It was behind these pallets, like out of sight where you wouldn't see them. That's incredible. I think I've got enough stuff to, to actually make yeah, I'm gonna try to make uh, an improvised hatchet. Ooh, and a hidden package. Well, a crate. Same difference. I've been playing GTA 3, don't judge me. So we're gonna start the fire. We're gonna try to get some coal and get this thing hot enough to make stuff. I can't remember how many pieces of coal it takes. It's been a little while since I've done this. 
Okay, that was one coal. Let's see what that gets us. It's two pieces of coal. Three pieces. Four. Uh, five. Six. Darn, it was... I'm at six and I'm, I need like four more degrees. And see, I added a reclaimed wood and it ain't doing nothing. That sucks. I'm gonna have to use a whole chunk of coal. Alright, improvised hatchet. It was that easy. I have got... I crafted five arrowheads. No, four arrowheads. I already had one. And then I've got me some improvised tools here. And then I'm all out of... I think I'm all out of my scrap metal. So if I come back, we'll have to bring scrap metal. Alright, so I'm back. I took one of those lovely little breaks I talked about in the previous video. I'm debating on putting my rifle up because I just... I have one bullet. So there's my gun. I'm gonna put that gun in that box. And success! I know it's a video game. I know I'm being a smartass. I'm sorry. Ooh, I have food. Cool. Also, you may hear my dryer running in the background. Oh, I apologize for that. And, yeah. It shouldn't be too terribly loud. It just squeaks a little bit. Also, I would like to note that the improvised hatchet takes slightly longer to do things than the normal hatchet. Ooh, well fed perk. Oh my god, the beautiful sunset. God, the colors. Why is this game so beautiful? All right, it's a new day. It's not a great day, but it is a new day. It's awful foggy. I'm gonna go check on my bear pelts. One of them should be done. It was at like 90% the last time I checked it. This one's cured. This one's 49%, so that means I got six days left before it's done. Also, this is a formal disclaimer. I'm, I don't claim to be an expert at this game. I just like playing this game. If you want to watch somebody go out and expertly play this, it's not me. I'm just having a good time. That's all I'm doing. So I got six days. And I, I don't know what I want to do. Well, I really want to explore the other side of this map. That's somewhere I've not really been. So maybe I'll sit out and aim to do that and hope for the best. I've been walking around for about 20 minutes now. I am appalled that I haven't heard anything. I haven't heard any wildlife. No bears, no wolves. Maybe I killed them all. Oh, there it is. I just heard a wolf. It's over there somewhere. There's nothing on that side, though. Oh, I want to point this out. What's up with these trees that you can get inside of? Really, what are they for? Does anybody know? Are they just aesthetics? I mean, I've seen them in real life, and I think the reason I they do that is like a tree disease. It eats them from the inside, so. but like in the game, is there a purpose to them? Ooh, another hacksaw. Nice. And that is my fifth storm lantern. I'm, I've been keeping count. I've been keeping count of them. Also, I found this pile of bones, which does not look good. It looks like the bear may have killed the guy in this hunting shack. Typically, bones means bear, but I know I killed the bear over here, unless there's a third one running around, which is possible. It's the forlorn muskig. Oh, that's right. I got the well-fed perk so I can hold extra stuff. I was kind of wondering why I was able to hold all that, but that's okay. I'm also harvesting the hell out of these cattails. I've got almost 30. What is this? Oh, did I find a camp? I found a camp. This is the cool stuff I'm talking about. You always find crap like this. Energy drink. Hey, that's my second energy drink I found. I don't normally find two of them in one game. Oh, 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 maple, maple. Those are kind of rare. I want that. I'm going to back up because I see footprints and I think those are wolf prints. I also heard something and I don't want to... I don't want to deal with it right now. Oh, I see at least two. Good thing I didn't go any farther. I got really lucky, I think. Oh yeah, time to go back. It's getting cold and frosty. Hey! <gasps> jackpot! Jackpot! Broken arrow and a survival bow. That almost makes up for the arrow that I lost. Ah, home sweet home. Time to reap my spoils. So many sticks, man. I'm gonna break the game with how many sticks I've got here. Alright, looks like this night's a little extra cold than I was anticipating. So I'm gonna start up the fire here, the forge. <gasps> my fire's starting. I'm an expert. Level 4, level 4. Let's see what this- what is this? Okay, uh, very few can match your skill. Your fires burn faster and for longer you have wood smoke in your veins. 75% chance to start fires. Fires last 25% longer. Hey, this is gonna be a cold day, cause like, it's- it's still dropping. Wow. Alright, I guess it was a good thing that I had all this wood. Just a day for a blizzard, I guess. Well, I would like to go out and explore, but I don't think I have the time to. I am going to go hike up on my hill there, where the cave is, and drop off all them sticks. I did pick up some really nice sticks. Oh, these are cured. Nice. I'll take those with me. And I'll leave you these. I do notice that, that these logs pointed out in another video, they do sort of spawn in and out of existence on their own accord. Okay, yeah, so the wolf pelt, it ruined, and when I, as soon as I threw it in there, it just disappeared. 
It's fine. I mean, it would just take up space otherwise. Oh, I just hit cooking level expert. I gotta go check that out. Hold on. Okay, plus 20% calories for any cooked food item. No calorie loss when smashing cans. Cook times reduced by 20%. Ready times increased by 20%. Nice. So that means I don't need to carry the can opener anymore. That's one less thing I gotta carry around. So we've got a brand new day. I'm gonna go back out and do some more exploring. The weather looks pretty good. Fingers crossed. Oh no, I think I jinxed it. It just started to snow. Well, going back to the homestead, I guess. Yay. Well, I guess I'm gonna take advantage of this time that I'm gonna be spending here and make some arrow shafts. Arrows, whatever. Now, somebody told me that I can use the quality tools and it wouldn't take as long. Okay. Quality tools uses 45 minutes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you for that. Now we're in business. I have five whole arrows. I like that. That makes me feel very comfortable. I had a 95% chance to start that fire and it went out. Sad face. I was gonna go out exploring today, but the weather is... Ew. Not today. Again. Rifle firearm level 4. Alright, so let's see here. Let's read that. Um, damage increased by 10%. Accuracy range increased by 30. Critical hit chance by 20. For condition per repair action. I don't know what the max level is for these. Is it is it 5? I think you gotta get them all to level 5. Oh boy, it's still foggy. Yay. All I have to eat is this wolf meat and I don't necessarily like eating that. Yeah, I really hate not having anything to do right now. The weather's just not good enough for anything. Alright, the black bear hide is at 92%, so... I'll have to do some math. Maybe one more day. Oh, it's been a long time since I've had one of you guys come. Alright, alright, so here we go. Let's do this. Good vibes, good vibes. I gotcha. Ended up with food poisoning again. Had to sleep that off, so I'm gonna go check on my bear pelt. I think it's been... It's actually been about two days because I had to sleep off the food poisoning, but I think it should be done. Oh, it's it's cured. It's cured. I can finally go and start crafting my bear jacket. It's probably gonna take me like three days to craft it, which sucks. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's let's go. Bear skin coat. It is. Oh my God, 60 hours. Are you serious? Well, improvised knife is only 39 hours. Okay, let's get started. I guess. Alright, new plan. I think I'm just gonna avoid eating the wolf meat and I'm just gonna eat these cattails that I have hoarded. I made it. I made it. Oh, she's beautiful. 10 degrees temperature. Oh my god. 9 degrees of windproof. 80% waterproof. Whoa. It's beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. If they weren't lying though, my, uh, my stamina bar did take a big hit. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so, I don't really know what I want to do from here. I crafted the bearskin jacket. What a lovely, lovely addition. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. In the next video, I'm going to end it here. If you liked the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you're new here, please subscribe. I do post content pretty regularly. I also take requests, so you can hit me up in the comments or over on my Discord channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.